Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions. And last week we got Rick Steiner, so it makes sense that this week we are getting Scott to complete the Steiner Brothers. Taking a look at the card, he is a chaotic new gen technician, trainer ability at 26k, yellow moves start with two more move points. And moves that cause bleed will do 65% more bleed damage. Links, the Steiner Brother link has been revealed. Green moves start with eight more move points. Uh, new gen gems do 10% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. I have about five builds I want to take a look at. Uh, but first things first, let's take a look at... Other than the fact that he takes up the entire screen. He's going to turn himself around for me. How helpful. Looks pretty darn good. This kind of looks like John Cena with a mullet. But that looks pretty good. Uh, so the first build we're going to take a look at is available at 6 star. Um, we're bringing in the submission... One of the Juggernaut moves and the six star move. So green two is the Steiner Recliner, seven MP submission. Generate 25 random submission gems and do 155,995 damage for three turns. While submission gems are on the gem board, remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength four. Purple two is the Moonsault Fall Away Slam, seven MP. Deal 139,274 damage. And choose a 2 by one area to make into two turn Juggernaut Gems that will force your opponents to skip their turn for one turn when activated on every countdown turn. And make 20 random gems into purple gems at the end of the countdown. And purple 3, the military press drop 7 MP. This is the 6 star move. Deal 185,031 damage. And decrease your Juggernaut Gem timers by two. All Juggernaut Gem effects will trigger when the timer is reduced. So this is a new move feature. First of its kind is reducing your Juggernaut Gem timers. Uh, we've seen plenty of that for countdowns. First time for Juggernaut. Big fan of the new move icon. Entourage for this, we're going to do double MP. So we have Woods for purple, Steel for green. Santa Hogan for any color gem damage and Showboat Lacey for 20% more to purple gems for the belt. We're doing two sets of Fury 2s and an all heart plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. We're going to be turning most of the board purple with some multiply gems on it. So let's toss on the all heart. And see what Scott's got. All right, so I'm going to start by stunning. Do the Moonsault Fall Away Slam. And I'm actually, I'm going to do this one in regular speed because the animation's really cool. Unreal. Okay, back to, back to double. Um, so that puts out the two turn Juggernaut gems. So we're going to... Hit the military press drop, which will trigger both the stun and the purple gem spam. Which will, in part, reload our purple moves. He'll kick out at one because he's Brock Lesnar. Uh, now we're going to apply the submission. So 25 random gems. Since we are stunning him, you could use Chiampa to do a one-turn sub to leave the multiplied gems out on the board. Usually I'd shy away from that. But he won't be interacting with the board, so wouldn't be the worst idea. Um, now our purple gems are doing 48k, 194 on the multiply gems. Hit the military press drop. So 
So 5.5. And Brock's going to no-sell this. Must be Mania season. That's fine. Uh, purple gems are still doing a good chunk because of the plate. So we'll just wipe the rest of the health. Like so. Fairly straightforward. Stack the purple gem damage. You could always, if you get lucky or you feel you feel bold to take a green swipe and maybe get an extra stack on the plate, you could do that. Uh, but let's take a look at another six star build. Next build we're going to take a look at is triple purple. So keeping the six star move, keeping the moonsault fall away slam, and bringing in the seven MP Frankensteiner. Deal 182,394 damage and deal 554,802 bleed damage to your opponent for two turns. We are going to go full bleed build on this. Woods for the purple MP. Striker Seth for 66%. Kyrie Sane for 25 I still don't have my King Woods worked up. We'll get there eventually. I promise. Um, so we're getting 20% instead of 50%. So there's room for that to increase. But as it stands, we are doing 1.17 million damage uh, with the bleed for two turns. Belt is going to stay intact because it's going to be um, bleed and stun and then recycle everything. So with this build, if your opponent has an anti-bleed, you can still stun them and blow up the board. If your opponent has an anti-stun you can still apply some fairly substantial bleed damage. You're not going to find a superstar with both. I'm not speaking that into existence either. Please don't do it. Um, but you can get them either way. That's kind of what I like about this. Let's see what that bleed looks like. So 1.17 million damage in bleed. And then we'll go ahead and start the cycle. It's a generous cascade. So 1.7 in gem damage, 1.17 in bleed. They are stunned. They are bleeding again. Fairly straightforward. In terms of a plate, probably just an escape artist to annoy people that try to, you know, submit you. Because there isn't one that's going to add to the bleed damage. There isn't one that's going to add to the stun turns. So throw on an escape artist. Ask him to mess with you. But that is what he has at six star. Let's go look at some other builds. Next build we're going to take a look at is available at three star. It brings in the finisher, which is the Steiner Screwdriver 10 MP. Deal 270,950 damage. Destroy 40 random gems and pin the opponent. Running that alongside the Steiner Recliner. And the Double Underhook Power Bomb 6 MP Red Move. Deal 150,785 damage and choose six gems to make into green gems. Entourage for this, we're going with Butch for red MP. If you have Striker Lashley, this would be the play because you'll get 50% more damage to your submission as well as the um, increased multiply gem strength. I'm using Happy Corbin because everybody has him. Um, not, not everyone has Matt. Not everyone's going to get Matt. Um, so I'm going to use Corbin in this scenario. And then um, I'm going to use Acro J for uh, green submission damage, green move damage, 10% on both. Um, and Ivar for an extra 10% on the green moves and destroy an extra gem. If you have Memrock, please use Memrock. I don't have Memrock. Uh, keeping the all heart plate in this build... Um, 
you could do a Rhonda's jacket plate. You could do the gremlins, any sub plate really, because you're destroying almost the entire board. You're not turning it into a certain color. So whatever gem damage you have available to boost with the sub, you could do that. Or you could do an aftershock plate to help recycle some of the reds. I'm just leaving the all heart on. Green is his primary color. Let's see if we can hit a couple. So going to go ahead and hit this. Let's get two, three matches, and then maybe just cover up some of his um, primary color there. Let's see, our green gems are doing 30k. Let's hit the Steiner recliner. So now those multiply gems are times five. So 47 on the greens, 235 with the multiply. We're going to destroy 41 random gems. That looked uncomfortable as all hell. Uh, 3.2 mil. Pretty decent. Everything's loaded up. Naturally, the opponent got the swipe they needed, so it'd be like that sometimes. One point six. What are you on, sir? Um, okay, so sub is ready. Everything's loaded up, so we'll hit the sub again. And then what we'll do with the red move is cover up the multiply gems with green gems. Just hope for more damage. This sob. This sob. Come on, Brock. It must be mania season. He's overselling everything. Um, so 64 on the greens. What I'm going to do is use the double underhook power bomb. I shouldn't have covered up the red ones, but whatever. More just showing you, you know, take more of your primary color. So 4.2, and he's going to no-sell it again. Brock? Sir? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Brocklemania, ladies and gentlemen. Brocklemania. One more time. Oh, sure. Now he doesn't get a purple match. I see how it is. Uh, 47k on those. Let's go ahead and do that. This gives us more of an opportunity to break the primary color for mo damage. Board go brrr, and done. We did it. Let's go take a peek at a variation. Next build we're going to take a look at brings in the second red move, which is the Super Frankensteiner 6 MP. Deal 156,719 damage and choose one column to make into two turn juggernaut gems. That will increase your red gem damage by 20% for three turns on every countdown turn and increase your green gem damage by 20% for three turns at the end of the countdown. Uh, we're gonna run that alongside the finisher and the double underhook power bomb. Entourage for this, Butch for red MP, Slick Rick and Santa for all the gem damage and Hall of Fame Scott Hall for two more green gems. If my zombie Ray was six star, I would use him just to get a ninth instead of eight and we gonna try uh we gonna try this hulkamaniac plate whenever you break 20 or more gems increase your red gem damage by 200 percent for two turns 
Obviously, there's a black move effect as well, but not applicable here because no black moves as evidenced by the no drip logo on the top right of your screen. Let's see how this looks. Could be great. Could be horrible. I think, I think it's going to be great. All right. This is going to be great. Uh, we are going to put out... Our column. And then choose eight to make into green gems. We're going to do the wild card thing. So swipe in. Swipe again. Now we have boosted green and red gems. Destroy a good part of the board. However, did not get the recycle. So that is the risk with using a gem damage plate instead of the aftershock plate to recycle. Uh, because he's going to pin us here, and we're going to lose our stack. Which is fine. We want it to see. So nothing is boosted again. Which means we have to try this again. And maybe this time I won't cover up the red gems. How's that? Excellent. There we go again. Well, that time we got the reds. And he actually entertained us with a kick out at two. So we still have the green. Yeah, I don't think our red is doing all that great. Oh well, you know what that means? Just do it a third time. Practice makes perfect or whatever. Trigger it once. Trigger them twice. Board goes kablop. Now the problem is once he gets going, he's going to pin us every single turn. So we're not really going to see the Hulk plate come into play here. Which would have been nice. It was a pipe dream. But uh, Aftershock would definitely help... Um, ensure the recycling with this because it's a basic clapponomics otherwise that's fine I could hit it now. I don't want to. Okay, how about now? Yeah, let's go. Bap! Night Brock. Brock is the no-sell king for this preview. My goodness. 
I hope my icon Brock um, is that good when I go to preview him. <laughs> Goodness. All right, one more build I want to take a look at. Let's switch gears and do move damage because we got something nasty cooking up for you. Last build that we're going to take a look at is triple green available at five star. And this is where it goes into a move damage focus. We have the Skyner, Skyner, the Steiner screwdriver. The, the Skyner screwdriver sounds kind of cool, but that's not the name of the move. Um, alongside the Steiner recliner, and we're bringing in the five star move, which is the tilt a whirl slam, five MP. Deal 903,000. 169, nice, damage, and increase opponent's tag counter by five turns. This move has no effect in non-tag team matches, but oh my sweet prince, it still does the move damage. Yeet. All right. Steal for green MP. This is my Bailey now. Um, so not quite six star yet. So we'll get... We're missing out on 35%. We're getting plus two on the green MP. 65% to the green moves. Our truth for 25%. And oh, have you not heard? It was my understanding that everyone had heard about the bird. For the belt, we are doing one set of uh, takedown twos with some decent green move substats. And then one set of takedowns, because that is where the 200% lies, and uh, you called it. Whenever you activate a green move, increase your green move damage by 100% for two total turns, including current, including current turn. And while I don't have Rick on my roster, nor is there a six-star tag match on the game for me to display it, can you imagine both of them with Sheik plates tagging in and out? Like, good god. Death. So the thing that I love about this build, and I previewed it on the official Twitch channel when he came out, um, before the Sheik plate even started stacking, we were doing 4.2 million damage with this move. Nasty. The other thing I love is that the submission applies to it. Because it is a green move. So drain the MP. Now the finisher is 1.5. Now the tilt a whirl slam is 5.1. Just a quick little. Oh my god, he criticaled. Oh my god. Okay, so 6.7. <laughs> Jesus. 1.8. So if that's a tag match, like, you're not even close to your corner. You can't even grasp at your partner. You got five turns of, ow, my body. And he didn't kick out at one like I thought he was going to, so we didn't get to stack it again. But, uh, yeah. Insane. Let's wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Scott Steiner from Steiner Brothers. Uh, to reiterate, he is a chaotic new gen technician. Trainer ability at 26k. Yellow moves start with two more move points. Moves that cause bleed will do 65% more bleed damage. He does get a plus eight green MP tag link with his brother. 10% more gem damage with new gen, just the one standard set of gear, but we got them, folks. We got the Steiners. Um, hopefully this means Big Papa Pump is in the future with the chain mail and the Steiner math and everything. Um, again, really interesting mechanic here, the first of its kind decreasing your juggernaut gem timers. Um, opens up a lot of possibilities as well. Let me know what you think. In the comments of this video, are you a big Steiner fan? You happy to finally see this day happen where we weren't sure for a bit 
if they could patch things up with WWE, but now they're both rightfully in the Hall of Fame and in WWE Champions, so maybe we get Hall of Fame Steiners down the line. Uh, will they add a tag link with Braun Breaker? Stay tuned. Uh, let me know what you think. Any other questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know in the comments of this video or on the Discord server. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.